was like, I played rugby for my school. It, one of the very fir first practices, I dove over a scrum after, yeah. after, the, after the ball came out to, to make a tackle. Now I did that by leaving my feet and jumping over the other people. My coach said, oi, this is American football. <laughs> Julie. Hello, I'm Lucy's mom. And we're so excited today because we have a very special guest, our friend Justin. Hey. Hello. Welcome Justin. Thank you for having me. He's here to talk to us today about his time as an Air Force brat in Britain. Okay Justin, first question, what three words describe you? Uh, well, I would say fun. Oh yes. Um, yes. Nerdy. <laughs> be nerdy. Uh, and also creative. Mm. Wonderful combination. Yes. I was going to say that's a great combination. I just said that. I... <laughs> <laughs> are you nerdy like computer nerdy or are you nerdy like kind of like Star Wars? Well, I like uh, historical fiction is my favorite type of oh. um, genre, or that's my favorite genre of book to, to oh, read. Oh, I love historical um, fiction. My favorite book. Um, is the the portrait of Dorian Gray or the picture oh, of Dorian Gray? Another way of another way. So, Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good one. I am into math and science, so I, so there is a little bit of that. Wow, so many yeah, things. Yeah, yes. we're not really into math, are we? No, no. no. <laughs> okay, so moving on from them, I'm going to ask you what three words you think best describe the UK from your experience. That one's a little harder. Um, I would say, <laughs> well, <No> pressure. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting here like this. <laughs> you wait till we get to the next question. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's hard to say the, the characteristics, what, what I picked up while I lived in England and what mm. sort of came from entertainment. Sure, right? yeah. but, but I would say, well, Regal is, oh. is, one, mm -hmm. is one word. <laughs> <laughs> um, straightforward, more so uh, British versus American. I think British are more straightforward in, in saying exactly what they think mm -hmm. and mean. And yeah. then uh, maybe skinny would be the third <laughs> thing that I think of for, for British people. Now, I, I say this because a sleepover that I had with one of my school friends, um, so in our American households we're used to having breakfast, lunch, and a big dinner. Like mm -hmm. dinner's our biggest meal of, of the day. Mm -hmm. um, versus the British household, like, from what I understand, is tea is like the, the end of the day wrap up where it's it's smaller yeah. portion. So anyhow, on the sleepover, we had tea and this was like the sun's still high in the sky, like there's a lot of day, <laughs> yeah. a lot of day left, but that was it. Like there was no yeah. more eating that day, but so I was very hungry throughout the night that I was oh, sitting over at my friend's house. So that, that was a memorable experience. Yeah, yeah, I remember as a child, we would eat around 4.35, have our tea. About five, I think. Yeah, yeah. we got to eat early, get you kids off to bed, oh, and that's have it. a bit of an evening. Yeah, yeah. that's why they, <laughs> that's why they do it. American parents, there's a little tip for you. All right. <laughs> My mom was Air Force, that's what had us over in, in England. So we were stationed at RAF Chick Sands. That base closed in 1997, as far as the US Air Force is concerned. Right, yes. Um, it's now a base for the British the British um, Army. We were there from 1988 through 94. I don't want to date you, but how old were you when you... When oh, you... from uh, 6 to 12. 6 to 12. Oh, my. So that's quite a, an educational period, isn't it? Yeah, like an it is. Period. It is. It's, it's a long a stretch of time, especially when you're a child. Yeah. yeah. So the base, as I understand it, was a few miles north of London, near Luton, Bedfordshire. Was the base like a little part of America? Or did you find the base to be very British? The bases are very much, I guess, American silos where... Right. Um, <laughs> so, so on base we have all of our food and entertainment, you know, enclosed within that that boundary. Oh, right. Um, so we have, there's a movie theater on base, a bowling alley on base, that's, that's oh. the main entertainment. The BX is like um, our version of Target. Right. Where that's like the main, the main oh. shopping center on base. The other bases that we would go to visit were uh, Alconberry, mm -hmm. Lake and Heath, and Milton Hall. One of them had a Burger King, so that was like, oh. they were like the, the, the fancy base because yeah. <laughs> when we went to that base, we got to have Burger King. So. Yeah. So did you go to school on the base or did you go to school in the village or town? Oh, off base. I went to school. Campton Lower School is where I, where I first went. I like that because I got to wear a uniform. Yeah, so I had, kids do in England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, as, as a part of that, my mom made sure that I knew how to prepare myself. So I knew I had to to learn how to iron my pants and oh. how to tie my tie yeah. and all Lucy kind of still doesn't know. How to do that. <laughs> I gave up trying to teach. Yeah. <laughs> my secondary school, I went to uh, Robert Bloomfield Academy. So when the Harry Potter craze started coming on, and that was very reminiscent about my school experience because. 
we had the different houses. I was part of Shakespeare House when we were we were blue colored, um, but we compete against the other houses in our school when it came to yeah. athletics and that kind of thing. So whether it be rugby or football, that, that kind of thing, we would yeah. compete in our house. It was sort of a way to have a community within mm. the larger school community. So that yeah. was. And did you like win points for your your house? Yes. For good behavior. Yeah, yes. we did that too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Merit yeah. points. Yeah. 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 Just like Harry Potter. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, the drama school Lucy attended in London looked just like Hogwarts, it didn't did. it? did. I put a picture up. Yeah. yeah. And you saw it. You thought, oh my goodness, we're at Hogwarts. Yeah, it used to be an asylum. It was quite a, oh, wow. yeah, intimidating building. Yeah. I felt like, I felt like <laughs> my grandchild yeah. going off. Yeah. How did you get on with the British kids? Did they think you were super cool coming from America? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> they were yeah. yeah. a child. I mean, I don't think I met an American other child. Did you, Lucy? I can't remember meeting one. And I would have been so dumbstruck and so, wow, you know, mm. so, so you, yes. you've got good attention. Well, I, I think there was a, a novelty to it. I mean, even though we were going to school together, they knew who the base kids were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But even still, I would try to, I would try to blend in with my classmates and I would speak in an accent when I was at school Oh. But I was speaking my, in my regular voice when I was back on base. Oh, so. wow. Can yeah. we hear the accent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it's, it's, it's long gone now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, I can, do it, I can do it a little bit. I, I used the accent when I performed in Mary Poppins. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. 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 Y
Well, and yeah. so because we were learning French, since we were right across the channel, of course. we had a field trip to Calais. Oh, and it was over. It was an overnight, and that's I imagine that'd be unheard of here in America to have mm. kids go to another country right. overnight. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I right. went to France with the school when I was about fifteen mm -hmm. for a week. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We are very lucky. I think just in the UK generally, we're very lucky to be so close to all the mm -hmm. other countries. Have it allowed. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So but in America, I, I, that wouldn't be. Well, I just imagine the red tape and the diplomacy that goes into right. crossing mm -hmm. borders and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that would fly here. Yeah, <laughs> too much trouble for the big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, it was, but that was really memorable. I remember them taking us to, um, I think it was a, a dairy or wherever they make the big wheels of cheese. Yeah. Oh, nice. And walking in there and, and just seeing the the walls just sprayed with, I mean, they're just misty walls, that kind of thing. And yeah. the big, huge wheels of cheese, and that was a really memorable smell. But just the experience of seeing, because it's not like the, the usual supermarket format. Mm -hmm. like we're seeing where the food is actually being made where it's coming from. So that yeah. was really, That's really that was nice. But my first time seeing um, a musical was was on a field trip for school. We went to see Joseph and the Amazing Tech Oh, that's, that's a, a good one. Another really neat field trip that we went on was to see the, the Mary Rose, oh. um, the preserved uh, ship from, from Henry VIII, his old warship. I don't remember the enclosure, but I just remember the, the full ship and how they had it misted in there to, to keep the mm the wood intact. Okay, Justin, so you've yes. done a lot of professional acting and I just wondered where would you really like to perform in the UK? I would say the West End, um, just mm. because of the, the shows that, I, that I'm into as a as an uh, audience member. Yeah. Um, I think that's more of what they would perform there on, on the West End, so. Yeah. Well, if you're on the stage at the West End, we would definitely yeah, come we'll see come. you. Yeah, we'll come. Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Complimentary ticket. Oh, certainly. <laughs> well, if I get to be George Washington and Hamilton in their version of Hamilton over there. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. I haven't seen Hamilton yet. I really want no, to. No, I haven't seen it either. It's wonderful. Have you been back to the UK since you left when you were 12? I haven't. Um, wow. I would like to go back and, and visit it as an adult. But I think um, what has stayed with me has been my food my food preferences um, oh, that I took okay. from there. So, Indian food is my favorite food. Oh, oh yes, we love Indian food. Look how excited we are. <laughs> so I think that's something that's held over from my, my childhood in England. Well, obviously, fish and chips there in England is, is unlike anywhere else. So yeah, it doesn't having taste it in the, the newspaper, same. having it served yeah, in the newspaper, yeah. and having it you know soaked in vinegar. That yeah, kind of thing. So, yeah. yeah, you can't replicate it anywhere no, else in the no, world. You can't. Right. No, it's unique when you're over there. Mm. Really, yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Justin. It's been wonderful to have you. Thank you for on having me. It's been a great time. Yeah, and thank you so much, and can't wait to see you in your next performance. Very good. That'd be yes. nice. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and leave a lovely comment. And we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.